Hey guys, so I'm back today for a huge, huge, huge summer haul. This is definitely a collective haul. I think I really want to film this as a try-on video. I know it's going to be really, really long, but I thought I really personally enjoy watching really huge haul videos, especially try-on ones so you can see what the clothes actually look like. So I thought I would just try this all on and show you guys what it looks like on. I've also just finished my exams, but now I've finished my first year of university, I've got plenty of time to do more videos for you guys. So leave some more suggestions down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with Lush and I was in here yesterday and I did want to just go and pick up another Ocean Salt face and body scrub in the bigger one like I said I would in one of my other videos that I ran out of the smaller one. So I just picked up a, another one of these because I love it and I think it's supposed to smell of limes and coconut what it looks like on the top you've obviously got the oh I'm dropping salt everywhere I personally love it it leaves your skin really really nice and soft so I had to buy a new one of these I did get a free sample of they have a new range out or something where they're doing self-preserving products the guy I was talking to in the shop said that they put tofu in it they had a pot out and he gave me a sample of it so as you can see it looks pretty much the same as the other one the next thing that I picked up was the face mask love lettuce which is he said it was expensive exfoliating and it's for normal to oily skin to give it a radiant glow with polishing almond shell softening almond oil soothing lavender oil and it's supposed to have a tightening action on your skin but I've never tried love lettuce before that's just what it looks like it looks a bit like the mask of magnum in tea it does smell very fresh and then you get the lavender scents afterwards and I need to go put this back in the fridge actually because you have to store it in the fridge so he also gave me a sample of the vanishing cream which is a moisturizer obviously it's like in a tiny little pot I can't really describe what this smell is like, it's a very natural smell but this is supposed to be a really light moisturiser so he recommended trying a light moisturiser out which is the vanishing cream I'm going to move on to Topshop now because that's the other bag that I can see so let me just grab it so the stuff from Topshop I've got over two separate trips um, the first trip I bought these jeans and this is a trip where I literally just bought these. I didn't buy anything else on the shopping trip. Um, so I got the Motto Johnny jeans in the regular blue because I have them in the white and I love them. They're just the high-waisted ones and mine, I got them in the length 30. So on me, they're kind of like above my ankle they literally fit like leggings i don't usually like jeans but i love these ones they the stretch in them is absolutely amazing so i know they are a bit more pricey these were around i think they were 36 38 but you can get a student discount on top of that if you are a student next two things i got in top shop i actually got yesterday so the first thing that i picked up i actually saw on the stand outside they had um, all their mannequins dressed in like white and cream and i personally love white and cream and wearing like an all white outfit and things so I picked up this really nice top. I'm literally obsessed with this top. Um, so this is what it looks like up close, but obviously I will try it on and show you guys. It's almost kind of a, um, a crochet kind of look. I love the way that this top fits. This, I think you could wear it with a maxi skirt, you could wear it with pencil skirts, anything, anything high-waisted I think. I'm going on holiday to... Frankfurt and London in this next month in June um, so I thought I'd pick this up for one of my outfits because I kind of like to outfit plan ahead and it's such a simple top it's just as you can see it's key bandeau so you just wear it like this I think this would also look great with high-waisted maxi skirts because I have a few of those and jeans and things like that and I haven't seen these kind of things in any other shop so I picked up this I'm gonna have to move on to Primark now because everything I can see on top is Primark the first thing I got this um, before my exams and it's a jumpsuit there was only one left in my size and it's kind of hard to see because it's got like a crisscross in the back but this is the pattern on it. It's just kind of like black, white and pink. And it's got a band here and then the legs kind of flare out. They're not tight fitting at all. As you can see, they're kind of like plazo, plazo pants. I really love this for the summer as well. I don't actually have any jumpsuits whatsoever and I've really been wanting one. So I picked up this because I think it will match a lot of the things I own already. And the next thing I got was two tops. And this was from the trip before my exams. And they are the Holter Cami Top and I also have the crop ones I'm not sure if I've mentioned them before but these are just the full length ones so the crop ones you wear with high-waisted things and these you can wear with like regular jeans so I just got the black one and these are about two pounds fifty I think and how much are they 
Oh, they're 2 50 And I also got the white one, but what I will have to say is I wore the crop one out yesterday and I even wore a nude bra and you could see through it. So the when your bra is nude, it has to be literally like the same skin colour as you or else you can see right through it. I also picked up some socks. I have some other socks as well from TK Maxx, but these are from Primark. I don't know, I just saw them and for some reason I really love them. So this is what they look like. They're kind of like gym socks, um, but they're all in really bright colours look. I don't know, I love them, and like these are the grey ones, they had another colour set as well, um, this one says I love gym, fit feet and workout, I also got the white ones that say I love gym, go, go gin, does that say gin, go gin, go gin, that says gin doesn't it, like the drink. And it also says be fit, so I'm not too sure about the Go Gin ones. I have got some bracelets recently, and this one I took out of the packaging. So that's what it looks like. You get four bracelets. I don't know, I just kind of love all the colours of it. They're quite tribal and simple. So I picked up this. This is around £3. I also got another set of bracelets, and these were £2, but these are all separate. And I just love the one with the tassel on it. I haven't worn it yet, but I just love the one with the tassel on it. I picked up these nails. I've seen loads of people wearing them on Instagram. They're just their fruity nails, and I know they're kind of like like tacky or something but something called me to them they're only a pound i haven't any i haven't worn any yet but i know one day i'll put them on one day i'm gonna move on to t-shirts that i've got and this one i need to put in the wash because i've actually already worn it once but it's just their neppy tea i'm still not sure what neppy means maybe i'm having problems with words today so as you can see it's just kind of i think it's more like a boyfriend fit tea where it's got the um sleeves that are kind of like rolled with it and this is the pattern, it's not really a pattern, but I just love the mole on it. It's like a very light grey and it's got um, dark grey or black in it. So that's what that looks like. The next top, I haven't worn yet, but when I saw it, I literally could not say no to it. <sighs> oh yes. And this is Hogwarts and it's got the Hogwarts symbols on it with all the houses. Only £6 from Primark. This next top, I literally, I've worn this twice, two days in a row because I was so obsessed with it. You guys know if you watched things like my TMI tag that I am literally obsessed with Breaking Bad. I finished watching it. I'm so upset. I love Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> I saw that they had a Breaking Bad t-shirt in Primark in the men's section, but that does not deter me from buying things. I don't care if it's as men or women. If it's Breaking Bad, I'll buy it. So it's just the Heisenberg t-shirt. Oh, I literally, I did wear this out two days in a row because I love it. I wish I could wear it out more. I don't know. Do you think it looks good? Also from Primark, I have got two new bathing suits and I'm so impressed with some of their bathing suits recently. So this is the top, it's just kind of like a floaty top and it's obviously got like um, the bit underneath, like the bandeau bit to keep it all in. It does have, not really pads, but it does have a structure. So, so these are the bottoms, I love these as well, they're just pretty basic, but I love the sides, how they've got the kind of the, the cutouts. So that is that bikini right there this bathing suit was done oh done this bathing suit i bought kind of like in the middle of my exams so this is what it looks like it is you can have it strapless or you can have it halter as you can see it's got the strap and this is what it looks like it's just kind of like a blue pattern it's got like a little hole in the middle here it's just got some ruffles i don't know i just thought this was so adorable and it was only 10 pounds as well it was just i can't believe this is primark i looked at it and it just looked something more like h&m would have so i could not pass this up another little quick thing i got from primark was this and it is a manicure set i think and i'm just going to throw it in my bag and this is everything it's got in it as you can see it's like scissors everything like that i just think it's really useful to have one of these in your bag because i'm always 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 needing scissors or something every time i'm out i got this dress yesterday and it's just a maxi dress from primark it was eight pounds and it's really nice and it's got these kind of you know the little string bit so you can tie it and this actually finishes on me just above my ankle which is the kind of length that i like i do have other maxi dresses that are quite like long and floaty and i can never have too many maxi dresses i wear them all the time so i also decided to pick up some capri yoga pant things from primark i have the shorts version of these which I think I might have shown, shown in another haul. But I've got the Capri version, so they just go just beneath my knee. And they've obviously got the fold-over grey band. They were only £6. And my other kind of Capris that I wear for the gym are 
bit too big for me now. So I just got these ones until I find some Nike ones that I like. Got onto the last two items from Primark and they are two pairs of sandals that I got yesterday. This is what they look like. They, I got a black pair and a nude pair and they've just got this um, kind of gold and, is it gold and silver? Kind of like um, more golden actually with like little diamante detailing and this has got some straps and they're both flat and these were £4 each for a pair. I do have another pair kind of like these without the gems and they kind of got a bit ruined because I wore them all last year so I wanted to pick up another pair and they were running out of the nude ones so I decided to pick up one like the last pair in my size and there's plenty of black ones and there were some other colours as well there is one more thing and I'm wearing them right now I think that's everything okay so oh. so these trousers that I'm wearing now so they just say like love to lounge and they are turquoise and they are cuffed at the bottom you can kind of see everything's messy but yeah, I will show them in more detail, but that's just what they look like, and I just wanted them. I totally forgot I had one more thing from Primark, and it's my new handbag that I got for the summer. And this is what it looks like. It does that. It's just another strap there. So it's got a shoulder strap, so you can wear it like a messenger bag. It's got this strap, which I usually wear it on, and it's big, and it's black, and it's got fringe. And it's only about £12, so I will show you the inside, but it's got a lot of mess in it, because I've been wearing this to go to my exams. So, yeah, I'm going to move on to TK Maxx. I've really developed this huge TK Maxx obsession because I do find some really, really, really amazing things in there. I picked up the Flash by Jimmy Choo. There was one of these left in my TK Maxx, my local one. I actually saw this for... $29.99 for the 60ml bottle. It was the only one there, but I knew I had to have it because it was calling me and I knew I'd be wanting to buy it for ages. So this is what the bottle looks like. I couldn't really tell you what it smells like. I'll see if it reads anywhere or if it says. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what it's supposed to smell like. I know it's supposed to be like, more, maybe more like a night perfume because it's supposed to be like celebrity or something. It's quite floral. It's not too sweet, maybe a tiny bit. It's definitely quite a floral scent. By the brand Pringle, and I got these in the clearance section. I love the clearance section in TK Maxx. I could literally live there. So I got two pairs of these socks, and they should have been £10, and I got them for £3. And I've heard of Pringle. I've never had anything by them, but I know they're a bit more of an expensive brand, especially because these socks should have been £5 each. But they are just ribbed leisure socks, and they look like this. They're just grey, and it says the brand Pringle there. And it's got little pink stripes over the toe bits. And another pair that I got, or two pairs that I got, were £2 instead of £10. And there's a black pair, and there's a white pair, which are just a plain white pair, but they've also got, like, the black on the socks. Next purchase is possibly my favourite. I don't know if any of you other guys out there watch Graveyard Girl. I love Bunny. And she had this jacket on and it was this jacket I've got now and it was like a Parker jacket and it has like, I remember it distinctly had these little tassels down the side and I always wanted a really nice Parker jacket and I loved the one that she had but as soon as I thought it was Ralph Lauren it'd be really expensive. So this is the jacket. I will show you obviously me trying it on. I've just rolled the sleeves up. I had to get it in a size large because that's the only one it had available but I am literally obsessed with it. It looks so good on. So these are little, these are the tassels that sold me. I don't know, there you go, you can kind of see them. It's got a nice big hood on the back. It's kind of a cropped length, but on me, because it's a large, it looks like the right length, but it just looks quite baggy, but I like the way that it looks baggy. Okay, it should have been £155, and I got it for £32. Every time I go to TK Maxx, I will buy something. I just, I never go in there and not find anything now. I've got two shops left, and I'm going to go on to the huge one, which is Boots. I also picked up the clean girls skin softening creamy body wash with natural vanilla and orchid extracts and built-in moisturizing matrix it's kind of got like a pink shine in it like a pink shimmer i really just love this one um the other ones are quite fruity and i must say i'm not a huge fan of fruity kind of scents so i love this one because it's a bit more kind of like sweet and floral at the same time this is my favorite kind of scents and i've really been loving it as well there was three for two on so i also picked up the soap and glory flake away which is this and i've heard a lot of good things about this scrub oh, i've kind of got like scrub on the outside because this is just like in my shower so 
as you can see I've used quite a bit of it already but this is I think it's is it like apricot or something like that it is sea salt grape seed and almond oil so I completely got that wrong but I don't know this one as well they do have a sugar one which is kind of like a zesty flavor but I like this one because it's quite like um it's sweet scent it's like Oh, you just have to go and smell it. It's just really nice and sweet. So I picked up this and I've been using this obviously like every other day or a few times a week or whatever. Just to kind of um, smooth out on my skin because when I do wear fake tan you do need to scrub it to make sure that all the dead skin cells are gone. So the tan goes on nice and smoothly. So every time I'm going to wear tan I definitely use this and then I also top it up with the moisturiser which I'm about to show you now. So I've also been using the righteous butter which is shea butter and aloe vera and this one i've used pretty much like half of it as you can see like half of it's gone and i still have like, my body shop ones and everything but they're a bit more like a deep clean so i use this on that like a deep clean like a deep moisturizer this is more like an everyday one but it does kind of keep moisturized for quite a few hours i love the smell of it as well and it just goes on really really nice and smoothly and it's quite rich so i just i don't know i usually use this and then i'll put my tan on and then i'll put this on top so that's kind of like my skincare routine at the minute i've also recently been stocking up some more on some more micellar is it micellar water the first one that i got was the garnier one from morrison's actually because i really wanted to try this one and it was sold out in boots this is my second bottle of my l'oreal one because i used the whole one and i've been loving it and when i saw that the garnier one was coming over to the uk i thought i would try this one to compare i haven't really had the chance to compare them because um i don't know i just kind of like use each one but I know I love this one but I've used this one as well I was thinking of having one upstairs in my bedroom like where my makeup station is and having another one downstairs so I can use them for like different things I saw that they had the micellar gel available in boots that one is more of an eye makeup remover because sometimes I do find that I have to hold the cotton pad a bit longer on my eye just to see if I like I don't know I just wanted to see if this would take it off a bit faster than these do it does take it off a bit faster so I definitely recommend trying this one obviously this one's a very small bottle compared to both of these another thing i got from the l'oreal skin perfection range was the advanced correcting serum and this again is my second one i recently just finished this um and i got on this bandwagon because of nicole guerrero i stocked up again on my l'oreal true match in the color n2 i use two colors that i kind of mix i use a darker one for the contour and another one for the like the lighter bit this is the one that i use the most which is the lighter one and that's an n2 so you know you know i love this so i just had to buy another one i also picked up the bourgeois healthy mix i've got the gel one and i wanted to try the original one as well because i saw recommendations but i couldn't remember which one it's for so i ended up buying both but i really do love this as well the coverage is quite nice um it goes on it stays on quite a while i personally prefer my true match but that's because i'm quite loyal to it but i don't know it's quite similar there's nothing i could really complain about so picked up this to try out it's maybelline fit me which is the little stick one and i wanted to try this for the longest time but every time i looked all the samples have been like tampered with that like, people like just like smudged everything on their hands like even if there wasn't a tester i've only worn it once so far but i do have to say it is really really good um it very much looks like um you haven't got any makeup on at all definitely recommend trying this out because it's very inexpensive and it does work actually i was quite surprised but if you use this a bit of concealer and powder it's like a five minute makeup look and you can just walk out the door because your skin looks very flawless when you've got it on okay, so these are the last things that i got from boots and i got these yesterday they also had a three for two specifically on more like foundations bronzers and everything like that so it was just for the l'oreal um for the l'oreal section so i picked up three things i got another one of their studio secrets primers i've gone through one of these before and i like using it because i don't know i just like having a lot of primers just to try them out and my skin usually is quite matte when i use that one i picked up the glam bronze it's like a little duo but they had other ones that were just bronzers and this is in the color 101 and the last thing i got was the true match touch magique illuminating concealer which is kind of like a brush like the YSL Touche Class. I like to have a very light colour underneath my eyes to kind of brighten them. So this one was quite inexpensive and it seemed quite good. I haven't obviously tried it properly but it just seemed quite good from when I tested it. Finally if you spend over £20 L'Oreal in boots you got this limited edition for free. Uh, it's the Glam Bronze Eau de Soleil which is I don't know is it the bottle um, same bottle as the um, what's it called that foundation I did a review on. Is it like 
Magic liquid, nude magic liquid. So this is, I don't know what this actually is. Um, it had like no instructions or anything. It was just like on a stand by itself. But I kind of assumed that you would mix it in with your foundation to have a bronzy look because there was only one color. So I'm assuming that you wouldn't just use this. I don't know if you can kind of see the color in there. It's quite a dark color. I actually got these from like Powland or something. I got a Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the color Strawberry. Strawberry. There we go. And I did buy this the other day. I posted an Instagram picture if you guys want to look. I will link my Instagram down below. I bought this colour from Simple Colours in the colour Social Ladder. And it's just kind of like a very iridescent kind of colour. I, I don't know if you can really see, but it has got like little... Not really glitter, but very finely milled like glitter in it. You can kind of see it. And the last one I got was another Sally Hansen. And it was a Smooth and Perfect Colour Care in the colour 07. C, which is I think is a really nice colour for the summer. I think all of these colours are pretty good for the summer. So I just picked all of these up and they were a pound each. But I finally picked up three Urban Decay things that I've been lofting over for the longest time. And the first one I got was the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray, which is for oil control. And I actually have it on today. I don't know if you can... I think like the lighting's making me look quite oily, but I did only powder like half an hour ago. But I do have to say this morning when I put my makeup on, and I did spray this on, my makeup didn't get shiny for at least two to three hours, which is quite unusual for my makeup. Um, usually because my skin is very oily, I do get oily after around, sometimes like an hour or so. It's pretty bad. This does definitely seem to help, and I got this for the summer to try out. And the next thing I got from Debenhams, that's where I got this from, was the... Urban Decay Naked Flushed, which is the bronzer highlight and blush little palette thing that they have. And it kind of reminded me of my Sleek palette, but um, I just thought I'd pick this one up because I've been lusting over this for ages. So these are the colours that you get. You get a very nice bronze, and this is actually quite a large size. I don't know if you can tell compared to my hand, but you do get a lot of product in here. And you get a lovely highlight, and you get a blush. I might see if I can just quickly swatch it. That's the bronzer, the highlight and the blush. I'll, I'll I'll do a better swatch video if you guys want to see what it's like or do a review on it or something. Um, but I'm sure you guys have seen this. I know they're coming out with three new colours apparently. So I just thought I'd pick up the original one because um, I don't know, I just love things like this. I think it'd be great for travelling because obviously I'm going to be doing some travelling in the summer. So I just thought I would pick this up. And the last thing I got from Urban Decay, I kind of went a bit Urban Decay mad today. Or mad as in three things but you know they're expensive um i picked up the naked urban decay basics or urban decay naked basics naked urban decay basics um i've been wanting this palette for ages my mum got it months ago and i was always so jealous i was like oh and I, every time i go in Debenhams, i'm always about to buy it but i thought after my exams i might as well buy it now or else i'm just gonna like keep putting it off and I've tried this out today. I'm wearing the colours Naked 2, Faint and Venus. But I don't know. I just think the colours are so beautiful. And they're just so basic. But you can do like smoky eyes, everyday looks. And it's quite an inexpensive palette as well. And it's actually quite tiny. So you can just like throw it in your bag. And I'll show you in comparison to the size of the flush palette. These two would be perfect if you were just travelling. I mean look how small these two are. You could easily just like throw these in your bag or a carry-on if you're on a plane. And they were both exactly the same price I think they were 22 pounds each and I don't know if I mentioned but the spray was 20 pounds so that is every single thing that I bought over the last I'm gonna say the last month um but bear in mind I I had my exams I wanted to cheat myself before and after my exams so that's kind of my excuse I don't normally do this much shopping but I just thought well it's the end of university now so up until September obviously so I just thought I would cheat myself so that's everything that I've got I hope you guys have enjoyed this video a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls and leave me a comment down below if you prefer huge hauls like this or whether you'd like some more kind of small hauls like every time I go shopping not every single time but if I get like a few different things let me know if you want to see things like that I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope you're finishing school soon because I finished university yeah I hope you enjoyed this haul anyway so bye